We will be making some crepes this morning. So I got two eggs that I'm whipping together right now in my stainless steel bowl. We're going to add a cup and a half of milk. You're going to want to make sure that you blend that very well. Mix it very well, whip it up with a nice whip. Next, we will be adding one cup of flour. So it's, it's a crepe batter. So a crepe batter is going to be a loose batter. You'll see after I mix it, I'm going to swish it around and just give you an idea how it's different from a regular pancake batter. Make sure you scrape all the sides together, whip it up. That should be good. I like to overdo things a little bit, but some things you don't want to overdo. But this is not one of them. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Salt brings out the flavor in pretty much anything. And I have to add a little vegetable oil. Let me grab some of that vegetable oil. Grab my measuring spoons. Sorry you can't see my face. But there's one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Mix it well. The vegetable oil is going to actually help, helps bind it, plus it's going to help it from sticking to the pan because I don't, I'm going to butter the pan. That's my Debayer pan, by the way. The best pan you could buy for making crepes or pancakes. It's very thick. It doesn't look like a heavy pan, but if you pick it up, you're going to be amazed how heavy it would be. I spread that butter around. I don't, I don't use too much butter. The batter has the oil in it, so it's, it, it, it's already creating a non-stick surface. I will pour some batter into the slightly greased pan, my favorite Debayer pan. Spread it out nicely, make sure it's all over the edges, make it nice and thin. The waiting is the hardest part. That Tom Petty. Now we will get ready to flip the, we'll call it a pancake, but the crepe over. Well, maybe it wasn't ready yet. Just want to make sure it's perfect. I'm a perfectionist. I tried to be. Doesn't always work. Okay, should be ready now. Give it a flippity flu. Try not to break it. They're very, they're very delicate. Sometimes they break it, but it's okay. They still taste the same. I lay out my strawberries, which I sliced. It's always good to pre-slice and prepare all your stuff before you start making it because this way you could move a little faster. I drizzle my semi-melted Nutella, which I keep near the stove so it stays nice and gooey. Because if you, if you don't do it that way, it's, it's more of a spreadable batter and not a pourable batter. I tried to put it in some semi-hot water, almost boiling, and I melted the the bottle so I don't recommend you put it in hot water and voila we are done making crepes don't forget to go to my website bakertown.com that's b-a-k-e-r-t-o-w-n-e.com